there you have it family from my kitchen to yours from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table to your plate and most of all to your Christmas morning breakfast table Ooh, look at these dumplings look at them if you know anything about run down there be a cook run down you know this is oh look at that beauty look at it colors popping sauce is there glossiness is there and ever look at the color look at the color merry christmas jamaican cooking family happy holidays I just want to pause here to say God has blessed us and we are when I'm filming at this point it's Christmas Eve so we have made it this far and I just want to say thank you for your love and support I think this is our sixth sixth Christmas on the Jamaican cooking journey and I just want to say how much I appreciate you all how much I've enjoyed making videos for cooking videos for you so I want you to, whatever it is that you're going to be preparing, whether it be Jamaican or your native land food or whatever you want, cook happily and eat happily, okay? Thanks for your love and support throughout the years. And also, I just want to say a lot of us are going to be missing loved ones at our Christmas dinner table or at our festive season table but you know another word to those who still have their loved ones make the very best of it be good and try to enjoy check on the channel if you have not yet made your christmas dinner menu and you are lacking something and you're not sure about something go check on the jamaican cooking journey see what it is now i'll be repeating a recipe as i said i'm gonna be you know trying to not repeat recipes as much because I have uh, quite a few recipes that not a lot like I have repeated curry chicken curry goat and you know we don't need to be repeating recipes like this but this is an old classic Jamaican Christmas morning breakfast so I think every year I repeat this I'll be making fried dumplings aki and salt fish for you so right here I've got my dough made ahead of time nice and really fluffy soft to the touch i'm gonna to be cooking this is fresh aki but let me tell you something if you have to use your canned ackies use them check for a good brand i cannot say one because i really don't use canned ackies nor am i like abroad i'm in jamaica so you know my allies i get fresh aki but i have you i've tried it already just for tried sake and it's good the canned aki works just the same so do your thing okay so right on over here i've got me two pots one is for my salt fish i'm gonna be scalding off my salt fish right here i have this coming to a boil it must be boiling water for the aki the the salt fish doesn't need boiling water so me just i'll put it in there maybe i'll get it scalded probably about two times to remove that amount of salt you scald your salt fish in lots of water scalding it in a little bit of water doesn't make sense you want to have it in scalding it in a small amount doesn't make sense so to speak so you want to have it um in a lot of water maybe i'll do this two times because it wasn't pre-soaked it i just rinsed up that heavy salt pickling salt now as you start adding to scalding you don't want to cover down your pot all the way because salt fish when it starts cooking it forms up because of the ice salt content because then pickle it up so if you want to keep your pot like this you can leave it like that but once I put the salt fish in, I normally leave the cover off because it's going to come right over. Water for the aki coming to a boil. I did touch a little salt in there. This is where I'm refining my dumplings in this pot here. I've got enough oil. And for you, you might not want to use used oil, but this is a little fried chicken oil. I think it's either fries or fried chicken. It's a little used oil. And for me, fried dumplings always taste better with some form of flavored used oil so do your fresh oil do you waiting for this to come to reasonable eated my salt fish is here gonna come to a boil i'm gonna do it two times calling it up as it's that's what scalding means you know you don't fully boil it as it starts boiling up you throw off that water and if you want to do it another time or how many times you just do the same 
so i'm gonna be making my dumplings i'm feeling my heat here and it feels like i can start making my dumplings gonna rinse my hand and come back hands have been washed and i'm trying my hands so i'm gonna start making my dumplings so many videos on the channel there you want to make your dough manageable yeah making it ahead of time is a good thing too but you can make it right on the spot and make it just the same so so many videos are there i leave at the end of this video if you so choose to watch till the end the link to fry dumpling video so many of them i have there so i'm making it like this and i'm putting it into the oil see my oil is reasonably easy we don't want it too hot fuming up and all of them something there we want to get it in that sort of oil we want to get it at a slow fry making all these little dumplings here yep so that's where i'm hot and i'll catch you in the next clip so after a few minutes fam this is the progress that we have made dumplings are frying taking color slowly you know i like to do my things slowly my aki is here cooking at a like really medium pace you don't need too much water for your aki just eyeball your aki you just want enough to cover your aki you don't want your aki to be boiling rigorously this is fresh aki just picked from the tree it takes a little time to cook right here this is my um my saltfish coming to a a, a a boil i don't want it to be fully boiled i want it to be as it starts boiling and the scum, scum, the scum comes to the top, I'll be removing it, throwing off the water, and I'll put on another set of another what set of water on it, or another set. I don't know. I don't think so. But I put some extra water, and we are gonna do this to this point the second time. So I'll catch you in the next clip. More progress. Our dumplings are out of the pot, and they are on that um, hand towel, and I'm gonna cover them over with some more i'm gonna drain it at the top and at the bottom so right here and then i'll cover it with another cotton kitchen cloth and i'm gonna pop it in the microwave somewhere or in the oven for it to keep warm and then that warmth will make them be so soft so progress is being made here this is just a few slices of bacon being rendered nothing special if you want it it's not up it's not compulsory it's optional my Saltfish is on the second. My aki is cooked and right here draining. Mind you, your aki is supposed to be properly cooked for this aki and saltfish dish. Oftentimes people cook and then they say, Lab, I don't like how your aki tastes. It tastes different from XYZ aki. You did not drain the aki properly. The aki, the water from the aki, it's gassy. It has a bitterish taste. So if you don't drain it properly and mix it with the saltfish, you'll get that unpleasant taste. So, in the next clip, you'll see me putting the ackee and the saltfish together, and I'll plate for you. So, I'm on to you now. I've just strained the, the grease that I got from my bacon, and I have a few pieces of red plantain, frozen and thawed red plantain. I have that video that I did on my family channel. So, I'm just putting a few slices of it in this bacon oil. So, I strained those at the fish finish. And I'm making these plantains now for you. So right here, I have got these little pieces of bacon strips. I did them crispy and nice. And you'll see what it looks like. So this is my saltfish I'll picked up. And this is the ratio of my saltfish to my aki. Hmm? So my aki here, all cooked, drained, perfectly cooked firm and nice i'm gonna brown up my saltfish if you have been here for a long time and if you are new here you will see this this is how i do my saltfish i brown up my saltfish it is as a little brown crispy color that is how i do mine but do yours how you want it so i'm gonna be getting this all browned up it takes a little time so this is my saltfish all browned up you want to keep it wide so it doesn't lie on top of each other for it to do you know you get it done in a reasonable time this is how i like my saltfish all browned up mm? now it's time for gar um, onions and scallions mm? reasonable good amount of part of the green part of the scallion i'm supposed to have scotch bonnet here but you know what happened i didn't plan on making christmas dinner so i haven't gone to the market to get fresh produce i find that my scotch bonnet 
were dry. They weren't so nice, so I decided not to use them. So you see that? Yeah. So I'm gonna cover now and let my seasoning just go right through. You see that brown nice prettiness with the saltfish? This is just me. This is how I like it. Time for my hockey. No dripping. You see my hackies? They are properly cooked. No drip. At this point, I'm gonna use, because I don't have such vanilla, I'm gonna use a little red bell pepper, um, a little red pepper flakes, and also I'm gonna add a little black pepper. Black pepper is always a must in this dish, but I'm just gonna go low, since I did just put some red pepper flakes. And at this time, I'm gonna be having one peg of freshly grated garlic if you have garlic powder you want to try but i think fresh freshly grated garlic that's what we need right here hmm? yeah i'm gonna start mixing my aki get my flame down with my salt fish and as i mix you'll see that my pegs are old sometimes maybe when you get the can ones you, they won't retain the old mix but some of them are, you know, they have done, they have, they have done them properly, and you can do that. So at this time, I'll turn my flame down to the very lowest, and I'm gonna give this about three minutes, properly covered. So you see, after that few minutes, so that few minutes that we covered it, it's for, it's for all that you know that scallions and that onions and the bell pepper and everything it's just for it to the aki let the aki just mop up all of that flavor now you wouldn't want to put your bacon in that crispiness from this little bacon bits you know i have to put it in before now now is when you want to put it in because you want to put it in right now mix it through so whilst you're eating you're tasting your little bacon bits crispy and nice next clip there you have it family from my kitchen to yours from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table to your palate and most of all to your Christmas morning breakfast table it's Jamaican fried dumpling ackee and saltfish and I know you all love your sweet plantains please do enjoy remember to do this dish on a timely basis check out all the videos that I've done dot all your eyes and cross all your teeth and make sure your guests are properly entertained. Thanks once more from the Jamaican cooking journey and family, from the Jamaican mukbang and vlog, from the Jamaican Debbie Debs train, also from Debbie's Jamaican family. Have a beautiful, blessed, and happy Christmas. Bye.